This is John Davin, the Web Tools Guy. Today we're going to be answering a question many of you have asked me, and that is, should you use a WordPress blog to build your website? And the answer for many of you will definitely be yes. And I'm going to show you how to do that and why to do that right now. So let's go ahead and start out by visiting the How to Build a Blog website. And you'll see that this website actually looks like a website because... In effect, it is a website, but the, more interestingly, if we used WordPress, the blogging software, to build this website. Now, when I say it looks like a blog, even though it's a website, why do I say that? Or vice versa. It looks like a blog, but it is a website, or it's a blog that looks like a website. Uh, the reason is because most blogs, when you get done building them, are going to look like this. You're going to have the header. And most telling, you're going to have articles on the left-hand side here. This is a standard WordPress blog once you get done building it. And then on the right-hand side, you have your pages, which you can obviously go in here and edit all of these categories, all of these uh, widgets on the right-hand side. You can have the archives of posts that you've made. You can have the categories for the different posts that you have. I mean, you have to go in and set that all up. And that obviously is an example of a blog where you're going to have the information here showing when this is posted. Now, most of the time, if you're building a website where you're trying to sell something, you don't want it to look like a blog. For example, on my website, all I want to do is tell people who I am, what I do, and get them to sign up for my newsletter by typing in their name and their email address right here on the right side of the screen and clicking on submit. So basically I have five tabs across the top where they can get my free book, the free videos, the members area, resource tools and support and there are no posts. I don't have any dates showing when this was posted. All I have is the information on how to get the book on how to build a blog and then I actually have a blog that is part of the howbuildablog.com that I can tell people about later, but I don't want anybody to know that this is a blog until they actually sign up for the website uh, newsletter. So let's go ahead though and look at how we're going to do this. Just keeping in mind, this is the original blog, right? Using WordPress. You've got the posts here. And it's not nearly as appealing as this website. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go log in to the administration panel. Just type in wp-admin and go ahead and type in admin and then your password. I don't think I'll tell you what that is, but oh, better get it right here. Admin. Let's see if we got it right here. There we go. So we're logged in, and we're going to look at the appearance. Now, originally, when we set up this blog, we were using, and I'll scroll all the way down here to you'll see it. This is the original theme that comes with WordPress. Do you recognize that for just a minute ago? Great. So I could actually tell it to use this one again. I can preview it. And if I want to make it active, I click under Activate the WordPress default, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and press back and we're going to go back to the appearance on the left hand side and we see that the current theme is web tools and it's got a long name there, but that's okay. That's a theme that I created using Artist Ear. And if you download my book, How to Build a Blog, you'll see uh, in that book how to use Artist Ear to build a theme that looks as nice as this for your blog or for your website that uh, people will not realize is an actual blog. So that's the first thing that we had to do was number one, go change the theme to a different theme. Now certainly you could use this theme. You could get rid of all this information like I'm going to show you in a minute and I could set it up so that we put a different image in here and all that. That is certainly feasible. You could certainly do that. I don't want to say you shouldn't use this theme. I'm just saying that there are other themes that maybe are easier to use that are uh, a little bit more user friendly as far as as uh, actually not user friendly just that they look a little bit different like this I, I personally like this look a little bit better for a website 
where I'm trying to sell something or get people to sign up for my newsletter. I'm not posting a lot of articles. It's a little bit wider, and uh, that's that. But let's go back here to then the next step is going under widgets. And if you remember widgets, they're the information that shows up on the right-hand side of the screen, right in here under the search tab. Um, and I can show you again here. Uh, this is on the right-hand side where it says free. Take advantage of these helpful tips. That is where you put your widgets. And there are many different ways to, to do that. But originally, when we started out with, this is the sidebar on the right-hand side. We had a calendar over there. We probably had our links over there. We had our categories. And with WordPress, all you have to do is drag and drop. See, I could put the categories back in there if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and click on Save, Close, and then we'll go view that website so that you can see that I did put categories here, but we don't really want those categories there. So we, uh, all we want to do is actually have the get the book information here and the testimonial. So I'm just going to show you that this is a simple text file that I could actually create it in a text file or you could use HTML to create that file and I actually used a HTML editor to put that information in there then just cut copy and paste it obviously you have to have a title and then you have the content here and I'm gonna go ahead and close that but so let's review the first thing I had to do is number one remove the widgets that were already there I think the calendar was there, the links was there. So let's go ahead and put them there real quick. And then once we have them there, we can go ahead and remove them just as easy by dragging them from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. And then going ahead, and, and in my situation, what I did was I went ahead and drug the text over there. You can see that I have two, three texts now, and this text is actually blank. And that means that I can put whatever information I want in there. Now, in my situation, what I did is I set it up so that, we'll go ahead and look at the website, so that we actually have a graphic here that's talking about they can get the free book. And then we have some text that's talking about what they're going to get. And then we have the information where they're going to, this is actually the script from AWeber, which is the email responder that I use on where to actually uh, put in their name and their email address and they submit and then they're, sub they're eventually going to start uh, getting all my emails and then I have another image the book of how to build a blog and then that is the first one okay that's the first text widget that we have and then here's the second one which is the testimonials and first of all we have a picture of the person who's giving a testimonial that's what the code is right here got a little table there and then we're going to show the image of Jonathan Jones. And then we have text, which is his testimonial. So then I can go ahead and close that. And that's just all I had to do. Oh, and then the other last thing that I had to do was go ahead and set up a different header. Once I told it to upload the theme for the Artist Ear program that you've already seen, then I had to go ahead and upload a different header as well. And we'll show you how to do that in the next video. This video has basically just showed you how and why to make a WordPress theme for your website. This is John Davin for the Web Tools Guy, and we'll see you in the next video.